coming here is like uh, returning to my childhood. It's charming, it's small. This is the same theater I've been going to since I was a you know, young child. I've heard it's just the, you know, the aesthetic quality of the, the older stuff that's been restored. Open since 1946, the Bay Theater provides moviegoers with an old-fashioned theater experience. It has turn-of-the-century original seats and hardwood floors. It also screens all movies on film using a 35mm projector. But now that very film is fading to black. Hollywood is definitely going digital. The studios spend a lot of money. It's, it's costly to print a 35mm film. And it's much less expensive to push a button and create a digital print. Um, so for them, it, it works well. The drawback, however, is the cost of converting, and that's what we're facing right now. And as the 122-year reign of the 35mm film projector rapidly comes to an end, digital movie projectors are taking over, and that creates a costly predicament. We are faced with spending approximately $75,000 investment just to keep doing what we've been doing, which is showing movies, showing current films. And that's a pretty big, big bill to swallow. And they're not alone. According to the IHS, by 2015, film will be used in only 17% of movie theaters worldwide. Petoskey Cinema is also trying to make the switch to digital and hopes to have two digital projectors by the end of the year. It's the same story for Bel Air Theater. But in Frankfurt, the Garden Theater recently made the transition, largely thanks to the outpouring of community donations, a route that the Bay Theater in Sutton's Bay may also have to take. We're determined to continue to run and be current with our programming, whether that means taking out loans or finding some community support or whatever it takes. We're, we're going to do it. In Sutton's Bay, Kate Fox, 7 and 4 News.